guys, it's Kara. Welcome to Champagne Taste on a Beer Budget. And today I have something for you guys. It is an unboxing of my November BoxyCharm pop-up order. Yes, um, in some ways it's a happy thing and in some ways it's a sad thing. So um, I hope this doesn't bum you out. And um, I'm going to go about this gently so that um, nobody experiences PTSD because it was rough. It was rough going. Okay, so uh, if you're new here, hi, I'm Kara, Champagne Taste on a Beer Budget, where we talk about all things that are beauty related and how to get good buys and subscription boxes, all that kind of thing. Uh, now, you probably knew that uh, Box Charm did one big pop up. Back in July, um, I was lucky enough to get uh, several items, and um, at that time, they didn't announce it ahead of time. I just happened to be online all the time, and I just happened to get in there early-ish, uh, because I just saw something on Reddit, I think, and uh, was able to get some stuff, and it really worked out. It was really good. A lot of people uh, were bummed out, because they did not find out about it. Um, let a lot of people down. So... Now pop-up is going to be uh, four times a year, every three months. November is a pop-up month. So um, on November 11th, uh, I don't know what time it was, what was it, two or three, um, we all got on there and within 30 minutes we all kind of crashed the site, right? Uh, I did not luck out either. And um, some people did luck out though. Some people mentioned online that they were able to order, that they got a confirmation email and they checked their bank and the funds had been withdrawn. I don't know who those people are. I just saw some of these people like mentioning online that that happened. But it was very few. Very few. And then for um, this one, I swear to God, like from all the comments I've read from my subscribers, I think like less than 10% got through. Um, maybe it's even less than that. So uh, let's see what's in my box. What's in my box is different, a little bit different than what um, I ordered, what my confirmation email told me I was going to get. Uh, one way or another, I feel fortunate that I got through. So if I'm laughing or, you know, just being silly, I'm not uh, being ungrateful or anything. I mean, it was, it was just the luck of the draw, you guys. I mean, like, I got my order through and I posted it in my community section and I wrote, because I was watching my community section as I was on my laptop and people in the community section were saying um, oh my god it just crashed and I had 10 items in my cart or I would just went I just went to hit the pay button and the whole thing crashed so I'm looking at this on my phone and I'm thinking this is going badly you know I was in the Shane and um, Jeffrey launch too yeah that was tough so I was seeing it on my phone and uh, I just took a chance that um, you know, I was in there, it was locking down, it was coming back, I was locking down, and I took a chance and I hit the uh, shopping cart button that still had a spinny wheel, and it happened to take me to uh, the checkout page, and I just jumped out real quick, hit the pay button, and when I posted, hey guys, I just was able to pay within two minutes, the thing popped up that said boxy pop-up has been uh, postponed. So it was just uh, sheer luck uh, timing wise. But let's see what do we got. Now I've already opened this box and I'm glad I did because it's completely <laughs> smelled like Marlboro cigarettes and I was choking as I was opening it, and now I don't have to choke. Yay, okay, and I have paperwork uh, for my order. Okay, so my order didn't come uh, with any paperwork, but um, I printed this out. This is from Wednesday, November 13, which was the second day of the pop-up. Uh, it was open for, what, I think it was 23 minutes, right? Yeah, uh, this is dated Wednesday, November 13 at 9.51 a.m. So it started at 9 o'clock and then it was down by 9.23 a.m. 
let's just hope you guys let's just hope they can get it get it back up oh, i've said that for a second time let's just hope that they can get it back up again in november uh because i think if they don't get it up in november <laughs> Then I think we're gonna have to wait another three months because next month will be add-ons and the whole new schedule says in the month of add-ons There will not be pop-up, etc, etc. So what did I get? Okay, so I Really had my eyes set on this. This is the Ace Beauté uh, Blossom Passion eyeshadow palette um I would have looked up the prices, you guys, but we're having like another big sea storm here uh, out on the water, and my internet was down all day, so I will like put the prices um, down in the description box below of retail, uh, but what I paid for this is $9, here it is, and I like this because I love wearing pinks and fuchsias and... Whoa, Nelly. It is a lot of pinks and some fuchsias. So, uh, I have not used Ace Beauty formula before, although I did get an Ace Beauty palette in the charm room. I call it like the Thanksgiving colors. It's, um, I, I don't remember the name of it. It has the green packaging. So, uh, there are four of these passion palettes and the passion collection so um that was the main thing i wanted to get out of pop-up i know that we all had our favorites of what we wanted to get um i really wanted this and when i checked out it told me that the purple one was sold out um and then my receipt told me that i bought two of these and you know things were moving so fast that when i was uh <laughs> in the pop-up i was like abort abort it, it's gonna all crash and you know i just like skimmed the details of what my order was and just hit the pay button you know what i mean like even though there were a couple of extra things in there um so i lucked out because my receipt says Bl <laughs> blossom passion quantity two but what I actually got was the purple one. So, and this was also $9. So, really, really excited about that. A happy accident, maybe? I don't know. But you're going to see some other discrepancies in this order. And I'm, and I'm sure other people um, are having the same experience. So, look at how pretty that is. Ace Beauté is supposed to have a really nice formula. And check this out. Lots of purples and I love it. And a few mattes. How many shimmers? Let's see. It only has four shimmers. So it's not like one of those palettes that has, you know, almost all shimmers and makes you a little crazy because you don't have any transitions. So that's good. Good Thing. I had no idea, no idea at all that I was getting the purple palette until I opened this box. Um, but I was charged for two. So that's correct. And so the next thing on my receipt is the uh, Polish Choice Skin Balancing Pore Reducing Toner. I ordered one, um, $6, and I got one. So this is it. And there was some kind of toner that some people got right in their boxy charm i don't know was it like a month or two ago but i think it was a gray bottle this one says oily combination so um i'll have to go to the polish choice website to see whether that also includes normal um whether maybe that gray one was normal or maybe this is truly oil comb combination and you may be saying hey stop being a dummy because combinations combination but um on, if you notice on the boxy charm um beauty quiz it says what is your skin type oily combination or dry there is no normal so <laughs> sometimes you know what I mean? Uh, sometimes there's no normal box for me to check. Um, okay, what's next? It Cosmetics, the secret sauce, anti-aging moisturizer. 
Um, I do know that my subscribers, one of my subscribers from Massachusetts, um, you know who you are, uh, she was talking about how she really, really wanted to get this. And um, just to let you guys know, this was $5, but this is a sample size. It is an all-over moisturizer, uh, but it's 0.5 ounce. So it's a sample size. Um, I do love It Cosmetics. Um, skincare, uh, the confidence in a uh, cream and lotion. I love those. Okay, so this I accidentally clicked. Yeah, see, this is where the discrepancies come in. <laughs> so, um, I accidentally clicked two and I paid for two, but I got one in the box. So, um, for any discrepancies like that, I'll just be contacting Bo my internet was down all day today. Uh, I'll be contacting Boxy Charm and saying, you know, hey, these items were uh, not in the box. I don't care about getting the items uh, because I'm grateful for what I have. So I'll just ask for the money back if they haven't refunded me already because they may have. Uh, box is pretty fair like that. I've I've never had any billing issues with them. So, so, um, yes, I paid for two, and I got one of those, and then the MAC Cosmetics, this one came like this, open, thanks guys, maybe they were helping me by opening it, um, there was one MAC lipstick, and it was the matte, and I didn't click onto that, because underneath there were four shades, four or five shades, and you had to click onto the item, to um choose the shade and i was in such a rush i was like if i go do that i'm gonna crash my car and i'm gonna lose everything so i saw this little guy all by itself it's called amplified cream i have no idea what that means my internet was down all day so i couldn't look it up the shade is spotlight me and it did cost 350 so i just took a gamble because it's 350 and live fast die young right guys um well it's too late for me to die young but Let's take a look. I wonder what amplified cream means. Hmm, I don't know, maybe that it has a little bit of frost to it. I'll go like that. Maybe it has a little bit of frost to it, but I would say a pinky corally shade. And that is it. So, um,. Yeah, I like it. I'm not really into uh, the matte lipsticks right now while I'm wearing one. Uh, I'm really into like the cream bullet lipsticks because it's winter. I just think it's more comfortable. So I scored one of these and I was racing through just to get out of there before the whole thing crashed down. Um, IGK I got Good Behavior spirulina protein smoothing spray 5.6 ounce um i paid seven dollars for this and i kind of know the price of this because um my like for the 10th time my internet was down all day and i had nothing to do and i was reading so um alta sales catalogs from the past month and um this was in there and i think this was like 30 something dollars so wow because i would you know i'm cheap i'd never pay that but 24 hour frizz control um my hair is like coarse i have to like run it through a curl and iron or a brush because it's just like coarse so yeah, I'm gonna really appreciate this. Uh, I don't have any products like this either. Okay, next up, if you're one of my followers, you know, the other one big thing that I wanted out of pop-up was the llama socks. <laughs> yes, I love llamas. Uh, my intention was, uh, had things been normal, would, my intention was to get like four of these because I'm kind of a dummy and I forget to do my laundry a lot. Um, these are $4 each and right, so I paid for two of these, but I have one 
And that's it for the discrepancies. This is the second discrepancy. And like the difference is five dollars. It's it's nine dollars. So you know, I'll just shoot BoxyCharm an email this week. Hey BoxyCharm, um, can you refund nine bucks to my account? No big deal. You know. Why be dramatic about it? These socks are the No Drama Llama socks by Living Royal. I like them on the bottom. It says Living Royal. And um, it says Do Not Iron, which is horrendous because I love to iron socks. Um, I'll show you what these look like. And they also had um, like rosé all day ones. So let's take a little look at you, Drama Llama. So they are shaped a little bit. All right. So again, I ordered, well, they're, they're kind of shaped, you guys, but they're kind of not. See? See how like there's a little bit of shape itch going on but not really in the ankle so will they like roll down you know off the ball of your foot I don't really know um, but there's also rosé all day ones and again these are four dollars um, okay so if any of you um, were in the pop-up room and you got stuff Leave it, um, leave it down below if you scored something because it seems like we're in a very small club of like people that scored stuff. And you know, if you were in there and you got super bummed out and you wanted to chat about it, you know, leave a comment down below because trust me, me and my subscribers, we have been talking about this nonstop since it happened, like in my comment section and um, on the community tab. So it's okay. It's okay to have your feelings, you know, if you get bummed out. I mean, some people took off work on Monday. Like, I did see comments about, some, like, a couple of people took off work on Monday, and then Monday it crashed, and one person said that they were buying um, gifts for their kids and their cart, and then their cart crashed, so... Ugh. So in a way, like, just making this video kind of makes me sad, but I also want to show you what's available, um, you know, when... Let's just keep saying when and not if, like, um throw out that positivity, right? Make it happen. Uh, when it gets fixed this month. Okay, next up. Cora's, I'll show you the box. Cora's Greek Yogurt Advanced Nourishing Sleeping Facial. This is it. It's 1.3 ounce. Um, this was $11. And I think, yeah, they did have some Greek, um, well, they did have some Cora's rose products um i think those were in the sneak peeks uh, but i don't like rose scent so i didn't buy those so oops so i'm just opening this still a little flowery smelling hmm i wonder what that smell is if i could i don't know i, I can't i can't name it it's, um, it doesn't really say on here, but I think that this is like a gentle product, um, to really give you some like deep moisture every once in a while for when you need it. And with us closing in on Thanksgiving and getting colder outside, sweatshirt weather, we definitely, definite, we definitely need more moisture. Oh, oh, I am missing. Am I missing something? Yeah. Oh, I'm missing something else. Oh, oh. Okay, so. <laughs> I didn't even catch this when I looked at this last night. Uh, Saturday Skin, Saturday Squeak, Rub-A-Dub Refining Peel Gel. So we got that in the um, limited edition skincare box. And I liked mine. And this one says limited edition, 2.5 ounce, $9. But it's not in here. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't even notice that. Uh, what? It's, um, okay, it's, it's getting a little stranger and stranger. Okay, let's skip that one. So the Saturday skin is not in here. Okay, so then we have... 
Kopari Beauty Coconut um, Lip Glossy, which um, Samantha March made me buy this. Uh, watch Samantha March. She has a great channel, and she just won like a really big influencer award. Uh, good for her. She's a hard worker. Uh, she says this stuff is amazing. Uh, that I think even her husband it, has it. Um, it's coconutty and it's super moisturizing. And yeah, so if I had my wish, I probably would have bought a few of these if had I had more time. But I was able to get one. <laughs> this is getting crazy. Okay, so the next thing on my list is... I don't, did my printer cut off stuff or, okay. Next thing on my list is Tula Revitalizing Eye Cream. And this is $12 for half an ounce. And half an ounce is normal for an eye cream. And um, other Tula stuff can be expensive. So, you know, we just got Tula, or I did, I got a Tula masks uh, in my last box jar. So here it is, if you can see that. Um, okay, so let's put that over here. Uh, unless my printing order chops stuff off. Okay, let's put the socks over there. Let's put the Mac over there. Now, I, I still have stuff in the box that is not on the list of stuff that I paid for. So, uh, that would be, um, Dr. Brand Pores No More Luminizing Primer. I did have a sample size of this, and I really liked it. So, um, it is luminizing. It looks very, very pretty. It is flesh tinted. I don't remember that. So, oh, it's like pearlized, like the... Um, professional pearl one that they were selling for $18 and I was not about to pay $18 for it. Um, so what about this? Um, I don't know. I remember that I liked it on the site. It's like right here. I remember that I put it on my card at one point on the site, but I don't know. Um, I do not know. So there's that. And then I remember seeing this, <laughs> again, this is not on the receipt. So I may have to do some further investigation, make sure I didn't overpay, make sure I didn't underpay. Like, this is confusing. This is the pharmacy better days ahead. Uh, this wasn't something I was planning on getting, but I think like on my last trip, because I went into that shop room probably six times and like three times I was able to like add things into my cart, but I didn't know I was adding things into my cart because I was looking up at my cart in the upper right and there was nothing but a spinning wheel. So, you know, like I said, I, I was seeing that my subscribers were crashing and I just clicked it even though there was a spinning wheel and I, that's how I got into the room to pay. Um, but I do remember clicking this one time. Um, I don't really, <laughs> I don't really know. Um, this is some kind of restorative cushion cream with full spectrum CBD hemp oil and adaptogens. Um, so what does this do? It's calming, stress fighting. It has mushroom ginseng and basil to help balance dry, distressed skin. You could use it a.m. and p.m. I like the smell of basil. Um, I can't really, I can't really open it, but that's what it looks like. I don't know how much it costs, but I have been happy with my other um, pharmacy products so that's my box um as you can see not only was it confusing and a little screwed up in the pop-up um even our orders are a little screwed up uh, um but again you know i feel fortunate that i got anything at all and i think the fact that i got two palettes um 
I'm really stoked about that because I love palettes. So, um, speaking of my palette of the day, eyeshadow of the day, I always list what palette I'm wearing, eyeshadow palette of the day in the description box below, is Gingerbread Extra Spicy. And uh, I got this with an Ulta Points haul. And that video hopefully will be going up sometime soon. And then we'll start my weekly palette giveaway. So I have some good palettes. Mm -hmm. I have some good palettes that I've been collecting um, for the last couple of months. Whenever a little sale would happen, I'd grab one for me. I'd grab one for you guys. And we're going to do a palette a week giveaway. So uh, be sure you subscribe. Hit the notification button so that you're aware when I upload again. And also hit the notification button because um, I'm posting about Black Friday sales and I'll also be doing the same for Christmas sales and giving you links of where to find stuff. And um, I don't know, I think a lot of people like it. So uh, thanks so much for watching. Um, again, let's pray to the pop-up gods that pop-up will come back in November and everybody has a fair shot getting stuff okay so thanks a lot you guys and i'll see you at the next video bye